All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's Mindful Moment session. My name is Jean, and it's an honor to be able to host these sessions for you all. As you can see, um, at the week before Thanksgiving, I set aside a special week to talk about gratitude and Thanksgiving. Um, speaking of which, happy Thanksgiving to everyone. So what is gratitude? Gratitude comes from directing attention to what is good with appreciation for it. Um, gratitude generates the sense of I have enough, which is a springboard for generosity. All right, so a sort of what we talked about in previous sessions, um, one topic was how to wake up with joy. And one thing that we should realize is that joy stems from gratitude. So when we're grateful, um, we are more joyful because we are more thankful for everything that we may have um, and that we may take for granted usually. But when we have that sort of grateful mindset, like the image um, below says, what if today we were just grateful for everything? Then our day, um, if we started out with that um, in our day and maybe saying our thanks, um, verbally expressing that we're grateful for those around us, such as our family members, um, that is real, a really good way to wake up with joy. And it's a really good practice to do, um, especially the week of Thanksgiving. Um, for me, since I have this upcoming week off, um, that will be something that I should practice, um, especially since I'm at home and not as busy, um, even though that doesn't really affect if you can uh, express that you're grateful for those around you. So having a grateful heart. Um, another kind of practice that we can explore this week, um, if you haven't already, is journaling. Journaling things that you're grateful for. It could be in the morning or the evenings and just write down all the things that you're grateful for. And I think that this will also help you to see, you know, all the people who are supporting you um, currently, and it will make you feel more thankful and blessed and um, sort of more mindful of those who are helping you so that next time when you see them, you can express your gratitude. So, right, um, so here we have gratitude and joy as sort of the main topics, the main mindful qualities that we are going to be talking about today um, with relation to Thanksgiving. So a brief summary of some of our past Mindful Moments session is one we talked about listening to Nature's Symphony, focusing on awareness, on the mindful quality of awareness, allowing sounds in nature to instantly bring you to the present. When we just talked about earlier, wake up to joy, on um, how we can shift from worry and anxiety to gratitude and joy. Using music for play, um, how we talked about how music can train attention and awareness and you may use music um, in your mindful practices and music can also have that psychological effect of shifting your mood and uh, unleashing joy and another um we talked about another thing was forgiveness, the mindful way, using understanding, empathy, acceptance to open your heart so you can forgive. And just to quickly talk about um, some things that weren't on the slide, uh, we really talked about self-compassion, how, how we can be self-compassionate. And this also, with self-compassion, it's sort of being grateful for yourself and treating yourself as if you were a friend. 
Um, and another thing that we talked about that may be applicable to Thanksgiving week, especially if you have any guests, um, is clearing your home, decluttering, getting rid of what you may not need, and maybe you can even donate that to local charities, Goodwill, um, places that or shelters that may be able to accept and give them to people who might need them. And um, a big part of Thanksgiving, I guess, giving is in the name. So we want to try to kind of find things that we're grateful for, but also find as many ways as possible to give. So for this week, um, we are going to transition to our mindful practice. And during the mindful practice, I would like you all to think about um, who are you grateful for? Is it your friends, family, teachers, um, anyone, coworkers, um, neighbors, anyone? Who are you grateful for and why? And um, how might you be able to express that to them next time that you are able to meet them? So, and then we'll have a little activity afterwards. So first we'll transition to our mindful practice, which will last around five minutes. Let me make sure that I share my sound and... Um,
Now that we are finished with our mindful session, I have a special clip about gratitude that I would like to show you all. It's from Whole Kids, um, it's a YouTube video that I found and I thought it would be appropriate for this week where we talk about gratitude, right? It's only about one minute long and... So I've got my essay written and I've been working on it for about a week. So now I'm going to show you how I use Grammarly to edit. What is gratitude? What does it really mean? When we are grateful, we appreciate something. It's like being thankful. When we are grateful, we notice the beauty in life around us in very simple things. We can be grateful for things like our homes, hot food on the table, the opportunity to go to school, a soft, cozy bed, spending time in nature, or your favorite treat. There are so many things to be thankful for. Gratitude is good for our bodies and brains. We don't just have to be thankful when we are happy. We can use gratitude to help us when we are sad, mad, disappointed, or feeling uncomfortable feelings. Gratitude can turn our minds and hearts to joy and love. Next time you are feeling grumpy or disappointed, Try saying out loud some things you are thankful for. Take a moment to notice what you feel when you think about these things. Then take action. Write it down or tell someone. We can show gratitude to others by thanking them, telling them what we appreciate. Even a hug goes a long way. Being grateful can really boost your mood and shift your focus. What are you grateful for? Right, that was a nice little clip. Um, and we'll go back to our mindful activity um, for this week, which is the Thanksgiving gratitude activity. So I would like you all to think about someone you're grateful for, something you're grateful for, somewhere you're grateful for, a food you're grateful for, a book you're grateful for. Um, any one of these and we'll share later in our discussion or you can share everything, all of the above. All right, so for me, someone I'm grateful for is my parents. 
um, um, for always supporting me no matter what. And something I'm grateful for is I'm grateful for my iPad because I get to um, take notes on it and I get to make concept maps and do a lot of things with it. Um, I'm grateful for the resources that I have. I'm grateful that I have a lot of good resources um, such as textbooks or even just um, books that I read for leisure, um, that I have these materials and resources to help me in, in this sort of developing stage when I'm still in high school. And somewhere I'm grateful for is my school because um, it's a really good school with really good teachers. And it's also really well maintained um, and it has really good um, sort of resources such as technology like labs and also just the classroom equipment. A food I'm grateful for is pizza because that's my favorite food. A book I'm grateful for um, it's kind of hard to pick one book that I'm grateful for, so I guess I'll skip on that one. Um, I sort of did all of the above. So kind of thinking about things that you're grateful for, you can even try this in times that you may feel sad or emotional and just think about things that you're grateful for. And also think about them. Remember to be grateful when you're happy um, because these things um, that you have in your lives every day really help you and sort of contribute to your happiness. Although being grateful is first and foremost. So we're going to conclude with a quote. It is not joy that makes us grateful, it is gratitude that makes us joyful. And I would just like to thank all the seniors throughout our lives. Seniors have provided us with life lessons, strength, wisdom, care, and support. And when this younger generation grows up, we pass on these priceless gifts. Um, I'm very thankful to all the senior communities um, just wanted to let you know and appreciate all of your contributions. And happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Hope you have a wonderful time.